what's up beautiful people we are on the move again and this video is gonna take us to some luxury apartment or apartments i don't know we'll see located here in santa without further ado let's go what's up beautiful people and welcome to another episode of don't keep up with don't keep don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the don't keep up with the Joneses. don't keep up with don't keep don't keep up with the Alright, great people, so I am back with the man himself, Mr. Mike, which this time we're across the street. But nonetheless, we have a three bedroom, right, yeah. apartment. And, you know, I'm gonna let you do what you do. You talk Perfect. through. Perfect, so welcome, welcome back everyone to another episode. I'm, yes. I'm pleased to introduce you to another property here in the Sandton area. Mm -hmm. Today we're at Central Square. Central Square Development. It's opposite the road where the last time you saw me was. <laughs> uh, and I'm gonna take you through a couple of the apartments this side just to give you some different offerings and what, what the other properties we offer here in Santon. Yes. Uh, right now we're in a three bed, three and a half bath apartment mm. uh, here on the first floor. So this is the lowest floor in the building mm -hmm. where you can get some nice views of the garden spaces that they have going on. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, so without further ado, welcome to the spot. Yes, yes. Very nice, very nice and spacious, I do want to say. Yeah. Like, so this this is, is a, expensive. This is 298 square meters as well. It's a big, big spot. What's really mm. nice about this um, development is they've got these massive balcony spaces yes. which run the expanse of the, the whole apartment. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so space they're very generous on. You'll see as we get higher up, the views are absolutely incredible. Uh, uh, and then there's a nice surprise of the, some of the common areas which we can show you a bit Okay, later okay. On. So yeah, so what we have here, as you can see, we've got the oven and microwave built in and the rest is yeah. all integrated appliances. We have mm. soft clothes over here, glass finish, super high end, mm -hmm. gas stove tops as well. I know a lot of people are worried about load shedding and things yeah. like that this side. Here, there's full backup everything, everything mm. is powered. Uh, and then it's also built on a municipal gas line. And what that means is you have gas hobs um, right in front of us over here. So it is quite nice. Yes. And then things like this, you've got your integrated um, appliances. Yes. Nicely hidden. Uh -huh. um, you'll see around the side here, mm. uh, we've got a separate scullery space. Mm -hmm. And here you'll find more of these appliances nicely tucked away. We've got a nice washer oh. dryer over there. Uh, and then through here, we've got dishwasher as yes. well. So everything is nice, tucked away, neat. If you needed more, um, fridge space or something, you can also fill it in here at the back. Ah, so now let me ask questions because Go for it. I know my lovely wife would. So with the refrigerator, there's yeah. only one. Yes. There's only one refrigerator, one freezer. That's correct. Okay, so we've been spoiled. We've been spoiled. Over true, true, true. But along the side here, you can go and install another double. Yeah, so, so it comes integrated with the one. Um, but it is possible to, to have more space uh, inside. And it's tucked away. You don't have to put it in your living area or anything. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it's a washer and dryer, okay, yeah. Okay. Um, and then if you did want to add another separate appliances, once again, it can be nicely tucked away at the, at the back there if you wanted to separate them. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, but this is the spot. You can see this is extended along. Um, so what you can do is if you wanted to, it's a little bit tight, but you could actually put some uh, stools up here, but there's nice storage space in there as well. I'm currently in what would be the dining area. So you'd put a nice large table over here. It could be an eight, could be a 10. Nice, lots of space for it. And then behind us over there, that's the kit out for the, uh, the lounge space. You got the TV, which you can put in on the wall there. Owl-shaped couch, maybe even more on that side over there. So it is very expansive, yeah. Oh, no, of course, of course. So I, this, I'm going to give you the full experience. If you want me to build something for you too, I'll be there. Busy, busy putting the bricks together as well. I can do it all. I can do it all. <laughs> Fantastic, yeah, and then I'm gonna take us right out here so you get an idea of where we are. Um, just so you are aware, if you just peek around this side here, this is gonna be the development extended along this way. This building over here is called Green Park Corner. It's office spaces, 
And this development is actually it's the same developers. So they built so that you can have a whole bunch of office space over here, provides a, there is an entrance way to access it. And then there's gonna be new, never before used uh, uh, skyscraper going to build up over here. Wow. But yeah, and then so it would cut out a little bit of a view along this way, but then you're gonna get all of this still. So you got these garden spaces which run all the way around. You can get access to walk down here and go check out more of the gardens around. But beautiful lights, that's not gonna be obstructed at all. You can see the tree line views. And this is on the first floor, so this is as low as the view gets. Yes, yes, and it's still nice. Still nice. Day, like yeah. Yeah. That's exactly it, yeah. yeah. Now, with an apartment, you ideally need a place to sit down and sleep, I guess, lie down and sleep. So with that being said, I think let's take us through to some of the bedrooms. Yeah. And one thing I do want to make sure we mention as well of course. is that with the doors, they're tinted. That's right? true, that's true. Exactly. So that's the thing is it's not going to get too hot in here. It's great temperature regulation because of the tint on it. And also people can't look directly into your unit as well. You can actually see the color difference already just yep. looking like that. So that's the tint over there. So that is a, a very good feature. And the, the windows obviously run the full expanse of the property, which is quite nice. So floor to ceiling, lots of beautiful space, uh, beautiful light coming in. And that's what these guys are going for. Perfect. Is air conditioning throughout. Okay. Um, that can actually be controlled over there on those ah, panels. I was going to ask about that. <laughs> okay. They have it all here at Central Square. Right, Everything. right. Noticing. So as we come through here, we've got the, the, the second room actually through ah, here. Okay, okay. So this would be the one with the, the least amount of sunlight. Ah, um, but okay. still very generous with the space. Yes. The built in cupboards like that. Yep. Very nice. You've got your air conditioning as well. Mm. And then through here, they haven't installed the mirrors yet, but this okay. is the bathroom setup. So you've got your vanity over here. Yep. There's a, a large uh, mirror that goes up there too. Yes. You've got your shower in here with yep. an extractor fan. Ah. And then you've got a closed off toilet like with that. With the extractor fan as well. Exactly. They thought it through. That's exactly. <laughs> you don't want to be caught sharing an extractor fan. <laughs> Oh, this is nice. Yeah, and the air cones actually come through here. Yes, and then I see plenty of cupboard space. Oh, also yeah. a little cubby, if you will, for a television. Yeah, that's, that's exactly the best way yeah. to choose. Or plenty of cupboard space as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And all the hanging stuff. Yes, here. I love a good double double rack. <laughs> that's the way to go. And then for your luggage or what that. No, this is nice. Okay. Exactly that. Now okay. we're going to go through to the second room. You can yes. see the light's going to get so much better. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A little oh, bit more wow. space here. Plenty of space. That's exactly it. Mm -hmm. And then you got your double vanity in the bathroom. You've got oh. the bath, shower, and then oh. obviously the closed off toilet. Wow, double vanity? Yeah. And this is not the primary? Uh, no, this is not the primary. Wow. I might be wrong actually. This could be the primary. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm thinking double? Would I give my child a double? <laughs> but I guess there's no choice. <laughs> Sometimes there's no choice. Yeah, I think yeah. the other one as well, I have to double check. Mm, there's a couple of units I have here, so I'm gonna get confused between okay. them a bit. And yeah, you have access. You have access. Okay. So you can open this, you can slide all the way along like that. So, mm. And it's super private. I mean, nobody can really access this spot here. Only yes. residents are allowed in this section anyway. Okay. But as you're looking out here, there's no one looking in on your place. It's right. Quite, yeah. No, that's true. That's true. Very lovely. I love it. And your control for your air con. That's like exactly it. it. I like the it. air con at the top. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I like the separation. So two on one side. And then you got the third on this side. So nice. that's why I would imagine this would be the main. Yes. By the way, you can also have a separate guest bathroom in here, so they don't have to enter the bedroom space. So you've got your toilet and your floating vanity there. Yes. And then this here, it's a similar size to the other one. So it yes. could act as a main as well, but you've okay. got the bedroom there, you've got your built-in stuff. This is more private, obviously, so yes. you don't have uh, any of the views. No one on the balcony can access it. True. And then here, once again, we've got single vanity, so that one actually was the main. Okay, right. okay. Um, we've got the bath, though. Yes. Shower. Which is a, a plus, right? To be able to get a shower and a tub, and you have your door for the, you know, toilet and whatnot. It's a win. Yeah, yeah for it's sure. It's a win. And then, yeah, all the rooms equally well-sized. You can put in desks, you can put in yep. couch if you wanted to. You're right. 
Yes. Now this is a nice little, like, uh, the this, this space over here can be utilized for trophies or if you want to put another office desk in here. Mm. It's a nice little entrance hall type of feel. Sounds like a winner. If you say trophies, that means you did some good things in life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it wraps all the way around. And then, as I said, these balconies are on the expanse of the property. Wow. So I, that's, heard, I heard you, but I didn't realize it. <laughs> yeah. Now you'll see, especially as we get higher up, it becomes very valuable. Yes. Very valuable. Okay, okay. Yeah. Nice. So With that's the essentially already installed. I like it. I like exactly it. Exactly that. So to give you a little bit of an estimate of what the prices are on these, yes. Um, this is quite a unique building. They are trying to sell these mm -hmm. um, for the purchase price of 8.05 million rand. Okay. So that's 8 million and 50 thousand rand. Mm. Three-year rental guarantee at 40, 42 thousand rand a month. Wow. So you can buy it, and for the next three years, your rental will be sorted, guaranteed for the next three years, basically, wow. which is an incredible deal, if it you is. ask me. It is. Um, and then from a rental perspective, as I said, we're looking at about 42,000 for this one over here. Okay. Um, furniture package would push that up a little bit. I rented one out very similar to this for about 49,000. Okay. So okay. that's run about, we're looking at 42 to 50 is probably yes. a good, a good and range. And would the price change or differ depending on what floor you're on? Uh, yeah, so the price differs basically on the, the, the square meter, so obviously the yes. bigger it is, the more expensive. Yes. And then there is slight differences in the floor. Okay. This one is quite a premium one though. Uh, mm -hmm. You'll see that it's actually more expensive than the one above us. Okay. Just because it's nice to be lower down on the garden space, you get a lot more of the greenery going out that yes. way. Yes. So that is why we, it's just been priced like that. But yeah, it is obviously more premium the higher you go. So our penthouse units would obviously be the most expensive. Of course, hello, yeah. with exactly. all the square footage. <laughs> no, for sure. No. But those are different, those, no. are, those are massive. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So nice. So this is property number one. This is property number All one. All right. Let's Off go to a good start, I think. Very much so. Oh, very <laughs> much so. I'm excited to see what's left. Fantastic. Yes. All right. So we are in our second unit, same building, two bedroom. However, Mike, do what you do. Yeah, so welcome. <laughs> so this is our nice entry level to uh, Central Square. So this is a two bed, two and a half bath. Mm. I'll give you the stats right up, right up front. Uh, it's 150 square meters. You're looking at about a 36,000 Rand rental uh, and a purchase price of approximately 5 million. Mm. Once again, that three year guarantee for the rental still stays if you buy it. So that's a great offering. They've got that across all of their units. Very, great. very special, awesome. yeah. Yes. But as you can see, there's automatically a color difference here. So there's yes. a lighter, uh, lighter um, wooden oh, laminate right. flooring going all the way mm -hmm. through. The walls are also a different color. So each apartment has a different feel based on the light that's being reflected. As you can see, we're obviously Ah. This building is reflecting a lot of the light and it's more yes. of that cream light. Okay. And so they've got an accented like that. So everything just flows very nicely. Mm. So let's start off this way here. Once again, yes. we have this huge expansive um, island space. Yes. Where we've got the gas hub. Mm -hmm. um, Ricky asked me a question a bit off, yes. um, just to ask what happens when there's load shedding. Mm -hmm. Absolutely nothing. Everything wow. is still gonna run, there's a full backup, this is coming, the gas will still be supplied, the power will be, still be supplied, huh. everything. So That's this impressive. is almost a pretty off-grid building, to yes. be honest. So yes. yeah, once again, we've got our integrated appliances in here. As you can see, mm -hmm. this is brand new, never been used before. Mm -hmm. This is a full Smeg setup. I actually wanna show you something pretty cool over there. So we've okay. got the Smeg microwave, Smeg oven, yes. uh, and obviously the Smeg uh, stovetop over here. Mm -hmm. Whole bunch of um, storage space underneath as well. Now, what's also very sure. cool, I don't know if you've seen this before. Okay. So this is a Smeg basin. Ah. Yeah, with hands grow taps. Okay. Um, and this is actually very cool because it's super functional. Ah, yes, yes, So yes. I can actually now turn it on and clean dishes yes. like this, and then it even goes and clips in. And that's yep. a pretty set standard high-end finish here okay. at Central Square. Okay. Now, I love those type sinks because, to your point, you can do so much with it. Like, with this, game changer. Like, total game changer. It's supposed to just happen to like swivel and swivel and swivel. So I love that. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah. Uh, nobody likes washing dishes, but that makes it a little bit There's more. There's that truth. A little bit more fun, <laughs> yeah. Um, and then obviously we've got this huge um, open plan space. You can yes. get your uh, dining room table there in the middle. Yep. And over here, your couch set up with the, the uh, actual TV over there. Yes. Uh, and what's nice about it, if you come take a seat here on my pretend couch. Okay, you know, okay, okay. You can see you've got your beautiful uh, TV set up over there, but then you've yes. also to the right have this beautiful ah, view going on. Yes, up there. I see, I see. And once see. again, we've got these massive expansive um, balcony spaces. Yes, sir. Uh, and that allows us beautiful view out there yes. over towards um, the sunset, actually. So the sunset's okay. right in front of us over okay. here. That's Crawford just in front there. Yes. Um, and yeah, you're gonna get the sunset all year round, basically. Yep, and so uh, to your point, if you have little ones, Crawford's right there, walking distance. 
essentially to the school, or you can drive them there if you don't want to take the steps. That's, That's exactly <laughs> it. That's exactly it. Yeah, and then you've obviously got the view out this way as well. So we've got our garden spaces down here. Mm. These are publicly accessible. Okay. In fact, you'll even see at the top floor over there, okay. there's going to be another rooftop garden I can take you mm. to. Very, very special. Okay. Uh, and then you've obviously got the views out that way too. And if you yeah. peek down there, you'll see a jungle gym. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. That is our retail space. Ah. So you can go and we'll go down there in a second, I'm sure, and you can see all of that. Yes, yes, yes. But yeah, let's go on to the bedrooms. All right, all right. And as you can see, beautiful light finishes in this. Very true. Very true. So you got your guest bathroom over here. Even the tiles are going to change from the dark to the lighter finish. Ah, notice it. Yeah, yeah once again, the mirrors still to be installed. Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, second, second bedroom through here. Okay. Once again, you've got your aircon. Oh, it looks digital too. This is a this is a digital one. Yes. Yeah. Um, obviously, all oh, the built-ins nice. over there. Yeah. And to your point last time, yeah, you can actually remove these. You can put a TV set yep. up in as well. Yeah. You want to. Yep. Um, you've got your bed space over here. Uh, the reason why they didn't install it actually is because the bed goes along that way, and there's a space for a TV set up that side. So yes. you've got plugs all over. Yep. Yep. And then this here, a little bit more functional. You can close Ooh. it all. I love a door to the bathroom. And that's it. Yeah, so I love toilet that. space there. Yes, sir. Boom, boom, boom. And then the shower. Nice rain right. ball shower scenario. Oh, yeah. I like that. Absolutely. And if yes, you walk sir. along this way. Yes. This is the main room. Yes, sir. Once again. So here, I hope I'm not wrong on this video. All right, Let's all see. Right. Okay, good. There we go. We got the TV set up. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> and then once again, you can open these up all the way so you can be chilling in your bedroom and have access to the balcony uh, there. Yep. And then we've obviously got a full ensuite bathroom this side. Yes, plenty of space. You have the tub, double sink with storage. You have your shower scenario, boom, and the door for your toilet. Always useful. And two hand racks for towels, or you can use a towel rack there. The option is yours. Yeah, no, I like that. I dig that. Yeah, so with like little space. attention to detail, you'll see here is, is plugs everywhere on every single yep. wall. They really thought about where you hang your towels, where you mm -hmm. hang them. So very, very functional. Yes. Even the thing like this over here, this finish, you don't realize, but that's actually where the aircon is. You don't get that, you know, that steel, that plastic finish. This yes. is full wood. Yes. which is joined with the part of the door. So true, true. Attention to, to, to detail, very, 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 very good. Very, yeah. very keen. And so even with this view, knowing that the building is going to the right, so we'll yeah, still so have access. Yeah, you'll, so you'll actually have, so the building, if I just give you a bit of an idea. Yes, sir. There's the car parks over here. That car park is actually going to stop. It's not going to go higher. Basically, from that point where it gets higher, it's like a block up. Yes. That's where the new thing will go. So it's not even obstructing that nope. much of your view. It's just nope. a little strip. It's just taking the road away. Exactly, yeah. And the main view's out this way anyway. Yes, so. yes, 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 yes. Uh, cool. Yeah. And that's it for our two bed, two and a half bath. There it is. I like it. I love it. Now, did it have appliances as far as the washer and dryer? Yes, yeah. So that comes all integrated. See, I even forget to mention it because it's okay. nicely tucked away. Right, right. Um, but yeah, that is all concealed in here nice so you got i think this should be cupboard space in here or cupboard space there we go yeah so there's our washer dryer yes sir over there and then in here is the dishwasher boom 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 all Brand integrated new. all new and you see it, it just fits in so nice right. nice neat tucked away not so true yep. very functional you can't beat it all right so this is the two bedroom option the and the bed. cost again rental wise is 34 you said 36 36, 36. yeah yes okay i dig it I dig and I love it. Plenty of storage space, which in an apartment you need. It's all here, even on this side. Yeah, loads of it, loads yep, of yep, it. Yep, yep, Boom, boom, diggity. All right, let's go to the next. Fantastic. All right, so last but not least, we are at the penthouse, the unfinished penthouse, I That's must it, say, yeah. with the idea of people being able to do it the way they so desire to choose. But at the end of the day, Mike is the man with the plan, so talk to us, Mike. Yeah, so we figured while we're here, we might as well show you something a little bit different. What yes. we've got for you has a white box. Ah. Um, There's a white box penthouse, and the idea is that you can buy it as is and do whatever you want with it. Mm -hmm. Alternatively, 
what you could do is you could get the developer to finish it off for you. So mm -hmm. this is just to show you what a premier unit looks like here in Sanson. They're massive, about 500, 600 square meters. Um, if you look along this ridge over here, you'll see the size of the balcony spaces. Yes. Our views are going all the way around. We have Randburg, we have the Pilansburg, we have the Dome. Yep. As we go all the way along, you're going to start getting the Michalisburg mountain ranges. Mm. We're looking for us, Bryanson, basically as far as the eye can see. Right. Unobstructed views, the sun sets right in front of us. Mm. The sunrise is actually going to come up this way. Okay. Unfortunately, we had a little bit of rain this morning, so the visibility is not great, but yes. you can actually see as far as the Midrand waterfall area. True. You'll see there's a big building in the spire. And then way down there, you can see as far as Pretoria and Centurion, all the way down there. So right. we are basically looking at the expanse of Gauteng, South Africa. Ah. So it is really, really cool. Oh, no, it really is. You can actually see how green uh, Gauteng is. Like, yeah, even yeah you city. can see that this is basically, this is actually the largest man-made urban forest in the world. In the world. In the world. And here you can see why. As far yeah. as the eye can see, you don't realize how many buildings there actually no, are. No, you don't. Because they're all covered by these tree lines. True. So very true. And I mean, the view is amazing. Like, and then plenty of balcony space, as you said, it wraps all the way around. All the way but around. But I mean, you can put individual spaces and things all yeah, around. Yeah, and what you could also do, you'll see these are, if we look at some of the rooms on the side, you could yes. actually extend them along to be more private if you wanted to. Ah. So like, just close them off a little bit. Yes, yes, yes. Um, or you can leave them open, it's up to you. But right. that's the idea behind this, is that we're gonna just put on our thinking hats for a second yep. and start imagining what the space is gonna look like. Yes, There's and there are There's a few renderings that I'm gonna show you just to give you an idea of what the finishes will look like. Yeah. But inside here, what we have, you can see huge floor to, like the ceiling is height is just incredible. Oh, it's amazing. Um, yeah, very, very cool. And so what we've got over here, we've got our lounge space. This is gonna be an informal lounge and then you can have your actual uh, TV lounge just to the side over there. Uh, it's a big open space. Yes. Uh, the front door is actually over there. So as we walk in, we're entered into this large living area. Mm -hmm. Over here, we can fit in a beautiful dining area mm. with the backdrop of yep. the actual my mic's on, right? Yes. Okay, perfect. <laughs> With the actual kitchen space. Yes. Uh, and then we have a scullery along there. Yep. Once again, these balcony spaces wrap all the way around. Yes. So if it's getting too hot in the kitchen, uh -oh. you can just step out here, yes. catch your breath for a little bit and come back <laughs> in. Um, I like it. That's I when like you know it. you're cooking right. When that's it gets correct. Hot, when it correct. Gets hot. <laughs> Oh, that's so good. that's the space here, it's a beautiful large space. Mm -hmm. um, the actual finishes you'll see in the rendering is we've got beautiful marble, Mondior lighting mm. all the way through. We have a guest bathroom as you walk in. Yes. This is a nice behind the scenes as to what it looks like developing these skyscrapers. Very true. Um, and specifically how we do it in South Africa. It's probably yes. quite similar. Here we have bricks. Which is um, amazing. Yeah. I, I mean, I see it and I'm like, wow, 30 is not an understatement, like it's not going anywhere. <laughs> no, exactly. And the yeah. noise is contained at the same time. So what we have here is our third room. As you yes. can see, large space. You're gonna have your bed along this way, your TV spread here. Mm. Um, up to you what you want to do with this bathroom space. You can see the toilet is actually kept separate over there. True. You can make it an open plan or you can actually close this off entirely, depending mm. on how you want to do it. Yep. And you have access to the balcony space once again, looking on these beautiful views. Yep. Nah, so very all of the true. safaris, all of that, they happen down there at the Pilansberg, Michalisberg. Ah. So maybe if you have a super high powered telescope, you can mm. view a safari from your bedroom. Uh oh, wow. True. That <laughs> would be interesting. <laughs> if somebody does that, invite me, please, please, please. <laughs> I love how high the ceilings are or can be depending on how you choose to finish out your space and whatnot. Yeah, so you have the option, basically, you can drop them down a little bit, you can add some rhino lighting. Mm -hmm. Maybe you want the concrete finish with a more industrial tone. Mm. Um, as you're gonna see, there's a lot of marble that's used, so it might be nice. Marble's a very soft, um, uh, very soft element. It could yes. be nice to add some industrial steel and things like that, just to harden it up a bit, yeah. and how you wanna do with it. Again, that's this the interior the designer. Room. That's the interior designer soft. right there. You know, he can do it all, he can do it all. <laughs> Incredibly. So I also laid these bricks myself, oh, as I mentioned oh, earlier. Oh, so. there it is. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah, we have the open plan bathroom. Again, very similar to the room that we just yes. saw. Um, and once again, you got your balcony space Of course, there. of course. And see, it's similar, it's like a, just a flip from one side yeah, to the other. Yeah, it's an inverse. And yep. what's cool about a spec like this is that you can design whatever you want with the types of um, toilets you want, the types mm. of vanity you want, the types of appliances, it can all be done from scratch I got and it can you. give you the full price breakdown just now okay 
Now, are bidets a thing here in South Africa? So, only on the ultra high-end spaces. Ah. So a place like this, absolutely, I think they should definitely build in a, a bidet. I'm not sure if it's in the original spec. Okay. But yeah, on the super high-end spaces, yes, because we have a lot of international travelers and yes. things like that, and they're all used to it. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's not normal, but, yeah, um, America but it should be. It okay. should be. Okay. I, I agree that it should be. Okay. So what we have over here is an informal lounge. This is the ah. main suite. From this point on alternatively yes. you can make this a flexible office space however you want mm. it's a bit dark in here but this yep, is a, yep. a bathroom space so we've got yes. it out over here mm -hmm. yeah so, so you yeah. can do your toilet around that way exactly and then you're thinking all of that that's exactly it and then through here this is that informal space so this can be a beautiful office space <laughs> if you want to yeah you can have a nice backdrop over there with all of your awards and degrees and uh -oh. the big master desk over here that's it looking out with your massive <laughs> telescope <laughs> looking at the lions that's the energy we need in a space like right, this right right this isn't a living room this is now an office there it I've is made it. there I've it made is it. There, the <laughs> that's the height and then we walk through here yeah and when you're getting in a penthouse like this mm -hmm. you have to have a bedroom space like this so that's a nice entrance hall. Yes. Here, we can have a walk-in closet space and be a his and a hers closet yes. space. Yes, um, Really, whatever you want to do with it. Um, mm. And then this entire room here is the, the main room. Yes, okay. which is amazing. Which in is this incredible. primary area, you have uh, one bathroom that we already saw, but then there's also the desk area with the high-powered telescope. But then you also have a uh, foyer entryway, but it also can serve as a closet but then another closet and a massive bathroom yeah and then this is your main bathroom over here so we got the toilet once again tucked away yeah i know a lot of people come to south africa and they wonder why is everything so exposed why do i have my toilet next to my bath huh. right next to my bed yes. yeah you can tuck it away nicely you don't have to that's see it. it that's it we've got beautiful double vanity here you can make a triple vanity you can make ah. a quadruple vanity whatever Ooh. you want <laughs> uh you can have a beautiful bath set up there and your shower over here yes that's just to give you some ideas with the space oh, that's nice and then yeah you can have your Extra King XXL yes. bed over here. Yes. So question. Yeah. In the States, we have a the big bed called California King. California King. What do you all have here as oh, far as bigger well, than I, the king? Well, I think I just made it up now. The big King XXL, okay. which is the Burger King type of setup. <laughs> uh, but no, I kind of like that. A California okay. King. That's a nice way to put it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So we don't actually call it that, but okay. I think we should. That makes more sense. <laughs> um, but we call it King Extra Length, I guess. Okay. That's the best we get. I um, like it. And then, yeah, once again, access to your balcony space. Yes. Beautiful views along there. Yep. So. And I like it that even at the primary, you have this wall here that gives you the space and it gives you the privacy. You have lights that are already fitted out for the outdoor space at night. And so, now this is nice. Yeah, you can put a whole to jacuzzi yourself. in the corner there. Mm. You can do literally whatever you want with that outdoor space. Okay. Um, yeah, gas fries, anything like that. So it yeah. is quite it is quite cool. So we had to use our thinking hats for this one here, but I hope yes. that some of you will appreciate the fact that this is something that you can design completely bespoke to your interests. Yes. If you're bringing yourself and your personality over this side, you might as well bring your taste as well. You might as well. Um, and yeah, that's the idea with something like this is that yeah. it's really up to you. We do have a completed project, floor plans, renderings, which we can give you, mm -hmm. or you can take it over as is and do what you want with it. There it is. That's what, oh, that's this it. This is cool. Even being able to see the dirt and all still in here. Yeah. This is fun. Yeah, no, like we're in said, the heart of it. We're in the heart of it. This is yes. the behind the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> of how it all comes together. That's exactly. Yeah, so definitely look forward to the renderings that I will put so that you can see how all of this can come together if you were to choose it the way the developers have put it together. So vibes on vibes, views on views. This is nice. This is nice. To walk you all through some of the amenities, here we are at the rooftop of this here apartment complex in which you will find this sitting area, this resting area, this observatory, if you will, but also the uh, ping pong table, which I love ping pong. Any wanna, anybody want to put me on the ping pong table? You know what I'm saying? Come, come, let me know and I'll be where you are and I'll bet you I get a W. But nonetheless, as you walk out, you'll see the entrance area to the pool, which is a whole vibe. Y'all make sure y'all stay tuned to see what that all looks like. And huh, look at this, infinity 
edge pull, which I must say, being up here, I was a little nervous. I felt like this couldn't be the space for me or the place for me. And I honestly couldn't see my kids in this pool. However, I'm sure there are some safety measures. I just wasn't in the pool to find them. However, look at this view. You can't help but to see and respect the views that this rooftop has to offer overlooking Crawford as well as the other suburbs of Houghton as we talked about from the other apartment complexes and there is our building there it is right there in its glory looking like a small uh, piece of property from that view however the seating areas outside there is a kitchen area that you can rent out as well bathrooms while you all are out at the pool area and just plenty of space plenty of space to be about walk about and experience the beauty of Santan right seeing the CBD area but then also seeing the residential area was all captivating again all of this is at the rooftop of this particular building they also have these garden areas that you're able to walk about in uh, I think it was still at the top floor type area but I mean look at this green area full of succulents there's a seating area where you're able to sit work observe play relax sleep do your thing okay you live in there you might as well enjoy Enjoy it but then they also had this here area where they have various stores here is a space where you can have some designs right from furniture different things like that here's a place where you can get your nails done you know your hair done queen b leaving like a queen that you are if you are a lady right but nonetheless there are some other stores and things here as well the video game area that had i forgot some thousand ran chair just for video games uh which was very interesting and this whole like simulator situation that they also had available for you if you want it you can go and get it even and if you aren't a resident, all of these areas and stores are available and accessible to people, whether you are a resident in the building or not. But there's also a gym, which y'all know I love the gym. And let me let y'all hear Mike talk about it. Right. Yes. You get access to Gold's Gym. A part of your lease. Yeah, yeah, so wow. Gold's Gym is a very premium. Yes. Oh, yeah. We have it in the States. Okay. Oh, yep. awesome, I think that's where it started. Well, oh, I thought. Yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger, yep, he was the main. It was closed for a while. Oh, it was closed for like three months. I love the fake wall oh, yeah, situation on the back. That'll be fixed what they're gonna do is when they build the other tower, they're gonna it's gonna be a full on oh. do like a tennis court. Oh, now that would win me. Yeah. I love tennis. Food, yes. Like yeah. No. 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 That's crystal. Because you don't have good taste. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's the reason. <laughs> That's the reason. Ah. And then on the second level, mm -hmm. we have the retail space at the top. Yes. Also, we have like office spaces. Okay. And, um, bigger tenants. Right. Ah. This is our jam. That's fun. I don't know what that that was. Okay. I saw the advertisement, but never realized. Yeah, so it's like a... Studio. Yep. In the States, we did a lot. We do a lot of um, sips and strokes. All right, so from the outside view, you can see all the luscious green and things like that. But, you know, I'm going to let Mike do what he does. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect, yeah. So now we're here at the retail space of the building. You can see the beautiful building behind me over yes. here. Uh, we've actually been to a unit over there. We've been to a unit over there. Yes. We've been to the roof deck up there. True. Uh, and then the main penthouse that we were at as well, which is just over there. Uh, so we've actually gone and seen a lot of this facade over here. Very true. And uh, no, now we're down here at the retail space, but I'm going to give you my full outro on this side. There so just is. to tell you a little bit why we have, we have these beautiful uh, restaurant spaces, Chunky Chow, um, Rexy's over here. There's mm. Art Jamming, there's Gold's Gym just over here. We've mm. got some office spaces as well, and that's Green Park Corner. Uh, which is uh, yeah, a lot of the uh, offices are built there as well. And we have access straight through here. But as you can see, it's a building that has it all completely mixed use. It is one of my favorite buildings that I've been to in South Africa. Mm. Um, and I would definitely put that this title over here. So if any of you are interested, 
Um, please do reach out to me. I go by the name of Mike Petro, but my full name is Michael Petropoulos. <laughs> um, yeah, you can catch me and my details, I'm sure, will be alone. Yes. Um, you can go at mike at mikepetro.co.za. Um, or just reach out on uh, my number as well, which I'm sure Ricky will give you. Yes, I can. Yeah. Yes, I will. Perfect, but I hope to see you soon. I mean, I think, I think we have a lot to offer in, in Santon. And yeah, this is just another one of the offerings we're bringing through to you. There it is. And hey, um, the man, Mike himself, our realtor, the go-to guy. If anybody asks me about who can help them to see homes, apartments, or anything of that sort, Mike is the guy. You all see him again it. on the channel. And I mean, again, just showcasing this beautiful, beautiful building that we see behind us like things like this is what he can show you and i'm telling you everything that i saw was something that i would feel comfortable with and could find us living in however you know we found what we found first and then we told him where we want to go next so definitely you'll see him more and more and again like he said all of his details will be down below so make sure you reach out to him and uh, let him know the Jones has sent you so he can give you that uh, extra, extra love and treatment. Extra special. That's it. And then, you know, I don't know, maybe he'll take you to the Greek restaurant, which he says, I don't have bad taste, so I haven't been there. But all in all, great guy, good guy. And again, he's your guy. So whenever you are looking to settle down, touch down, or, you know, find something different or find something new, Mike is the guy. Our kids love him. And when you meet him, you'll see why. So until yeah. next time, great so people. Until next time. Peace. All the best. <laughs>